Hi, I'm Renée de Vögelers. Today, the mitigation of climate change is one of the most important issues facing our society worldwide. In a globalized world, grappling with the impacts of climate change, industrial policy is needed to address multiple objectives, including global decarbonization, but also world competitive economic value and job creation, and also strategic autonomy. The question is what such an industrial policy should look like. Economics recognizes that governments have a pivotal role to play in in managing the transition from fossil fuels to low carbon energy systems while addressing these societal challenges. Leaving the challenges to market forces only is not an option in view of the externalities and dependencies that can slow down or interrupt the course of private investments. The details of an industrial policy are not yet clearly laid out, but nevertheless there is a consensus that a mix of policy instruments will be needed and also that there is a need for more direction in industrial policy making. Exempted choices will have to be made about technologies and projects that contribute most to the multidimensional objectives but which are impeded by market system and transition failures even if the risk of selection failures is also high. Managing this risk of government failures calls for a good mix of vertical and horizontal instruments, bottom-up and top-down selection, limiting support in time, and the importance of ensuring competition as a level playing field. The success of industrial policy will ultimately be defined by whether it will succeed in unleashing private sector investments to meet society's targets in a globally competitive and resilient matter. All this puts public-private partnership at the core of any industrial policy making.